Hi Glenn, Al and all of you will be part of the Epic and Causeway family. I wish you all a very good evening. I'm happy for this opportunity to say a few words on this launch of the joint venture between Glenn Jensen and Causeway to form EPIC. This joint venture is indeed exciting for both parties. I believe it to be a marriage made in heaven and I pray that you will be blessed with outstanding success and longevity. First and foremost, I would like to apologize for not being with you in person on this important occasion for EPIC. I had planned to be there, but unfortunately, I had to change my plan as a, as a result of some urgent business matter that requires my personal attention in Malaysia. I would like to share with you a little of my bit of my background. My name is Vincent Tan, and I'm the founder and majority shareholder of the Bajaya Group of Companies in Malaysia. It is one of the largest Malaysian conglomerate with over 30,000 employees and diverse businesses in various parts of the world. I'm 61 years old or 61 years young and I left school after junior high school 44 years ago in 1969 at the age of 17. I was a fairly good student and would have made it to university if not for the financial difficulties that my family faced following the failure of my father's business. I decided to leave school to start working to help my family and to support myself. I was recruited to sell life insurance by a life insurance agency manager, but my father had other plans. He insisted that I work in a bank and through his friend, he got me a job as a bank teller. Like a good son, I obeyed, but I sold life insurance on a part-time basis. I'm glad I did as I discovered that I could make more money selling insurance part-time than I could being a full-time bank teller. After one year, I left the bank and became a full-time insurance agent. I did very well selling life insurance and with the money I earned, I started an import and export business on a part-time basis. I imported second-hand reconditioned cars from Japan for sale in Malaysia. I was then 19 years old. In 1973, when I was 21 years old, I read an article that appeared on the front page of the Time magazine about the success of McDonald's entitled The Burger That Conquered the Country. I'm sure most of you Americans would know about this. It got me sufficiently interested to write to McDonald's and ask to be a franchisee. They, of course, uh, turned me down. After all, what can a 21 years old do for McDonald's? I persisted and lobbied McDonald's for a total of seven years before they agreed to make me their partner in Malaysia and give me a 51% stake in McDonald's Malaysia for a total investment of US 100,000. I was then 28 years old. That was my first big break. I must tell you a little bit about this big break from McDonald's. After I wrote to them, I sent them almost every week some news report, news article, or information about the fast food business, the restaurant business, and the economy of Malaysia, and about, you know, a lot of things about Malaysia. I sent it to them for over several years and uh, later they actually wrote to me and said please don't send any more material and uh, they say when we are ready we will definitely contact you <laughs> so i just want to say i was very very persistent and it pays off my second big break came in 1985 when i was 33 years old i succeeded in buying from the malaysian government a lottery company that was then not doing too well with annual sales of about us 10 million because it's a lottery business and Malaysia is a Muslim country, so the government don't really want to promote the, the business. So that's why the, it didn't do very well. 
So when I took over from the government, I bought from the government, if my memory serves me right, over a five-year period, I increased the annual sales by 50 times to over US 500 million from 10 million US. Today, the company's revenue exceeds US 1 billion, probably about 1.2, 1.3 billion, with profits in excess of US 100 million per annum. Believing in strength of diverse, in diversity, I then diversified my company's businesses to many different areas where I saw potential for development. Today, the group generates a combined revenue of US $7.5 billion from businesses that include consumer marketing, direct selling, financial services, real estate investment and development, hotels and resort and recreation development, gaming, lottery management, food and beverage, development of sanitary landfill, motor vehicle assembly and distribution, internet-related businesses, water utilities, media, retail, and telecommunications. I will not show sure if you know that Causeway was started about 34 years ago by Al Chua. My involvement in Causeway came about 14 years later. I was on the plane to Singapore one day and I was seated next to a gentleman who talked about direct selling, his direct selling business and how he was planning to start his business in Indonesia. He got me sufficiently interested in the business that when I landed, I immediately called one of my directors to look into this area of business. He later came back to me with information on several direct sales companies that we could buy into. And one of them was Causeway. I then arranged to meet Al, and as they say, the rest is history. Causeway has since grown to be one of the largest direct sales companies in Malaysia.